Okay, my name's Doug from Doug Cycle Bond. Today we're going to mic a crankshaft. This is off a 1962 BSA A10 Super Rocket. Okay, we're going to mic the two rod journals and we're going to mic the right side bearing journal. Okay, this is the side that goes in the case where that bushing is. Okay, these are notorious obviously for scarring this whole journal and ruining the bushing in the case. Okay, it's good to have a pad, a pen, a calculator so you can write your measurements down and you can go back to your service manual for future reference on the measurements you take. Okay, two inch mic. Uh, when you measure a journal, you want to measure a journal two ways, this way and this way. For this video, we're just going to do it one way, just to more or less give you an idea. You want to open the mic. Okay. I'm going to fit it underneath. You want more or less of a, a nice light drag feel to it, okay? Of the mic you get a feel for it eventually then slip out the mic okay and this mic reads 1.6575 so we write it down 1.6575 okay that's the left side now this side this journal should have been cleaned up before I mic'd it but I didn't have a chance but this is just an idea on uh, you know the differences i try to stay away from that oil hole there again a light drag feel to it it's good okay and this one measures 1.657 1.657 okay now we're going to jump over to the right side main bearing journal uh what i'll do is i'll take a measurement on both halves okay that way we can see if it's if this has been spinning kind of or if it has a taper or anything like that okay bring it in Good, pull it out. Okay, we have 1.343, 1.343, and we're going to check the outer part of it. Nice, nice drag feel to it. Okay. okay, and this one is, okay, 1.342, okay, 1.342, so there's like a, maybe 1,000 difference there, so, which isn't too crazy, but something to, to really look at later. Um, what I'm going to do is pause the video and show you the next thing I check. Uh, on these cranks and once we get set up we'll take it from there so hang on a bit okay we're back with the a10 super rocket crankshaft i uh, just wanted to show you a couple of things that i have done um, i did remove the two plugs on each end okay which are right here Let's see if you can see them as you can see, they were a hassle to take out. I'll show you how they came out. And then what I did was I slid out the sludge trap, which came right out of this hole. Now, um, in order to slide this sludge trap out, you have to remove this bolt in the side, the bolt that's in line with the two journals, okay? Because this bolt fits inside the hole and holds the sludge trap securely inside when it's inside okay so you have to take this bolt out then you can slide this out now this procedure of cleaning this all out and cleaning the sludge trap tube out blowing all the holes out for the journals for the rod bearings everything is 
definitely 100% a must. You have to do this when you rebuild one of these motors. Um, you want the motor to get the proper lubrication. You want the rods to get the proper lubrication. You don't want to leave junk inside there where it doesn't get enough oil. So this is definitely a must you have to do. Uh, to remove these plugs, what I do is I just simply take this crank off and put it on a firm surface, whether it's on the ground or a nice board. And let me just screw this in to give you an idea how it's done. You don't want to do it in a vise, you want to do it on the ground. Basically, I take a nice sharp chisel like this, okay, and I heat up the area a little, okay, and what I do is I try to catch it right on the edge. I don't want to come close to the crank. I want to come close right to the edge, as close as I can get, okay, and then I get my little three pound sludge and whack it and then I'll come from the other side on this side again and same thing you know you want to have the right angle you don't want to be hitting it like that you want the right angle like that and what it does is it'll shock the screw enough to turn it and I just keep working it out both ways just keep and it'll finally unscrew okay when I got it out I cleaned all little burrs that someone had put with a prick punch to hold it in better Okay, it's nice and clean. The threads are nice, and um, I'll buy a replacement plug for that for each side. Okay, um, let's go back to the journals a little. This, this journal is scarred, and we're going to end up regrinding that side. Well, basically, we're going to regrind both, but this one is scarred, so it's going to have to get reground. Okay, um, I'm going to take you to the next phase of this video if you just hang out for one second. I'll bring you there. Okay, we're back, and now we have the crank mounted in the lathe, okay? Um, I have it in a collet on the lathe, and on this side I have it in a, a live center. Okay, what, what I want to do is just more or less check the main bearing runouts, okay? Where, where this side rides in the case, and we'll check this side um, that rides in the roller bearing. What we want to see is how far the runout is. This side is really close. It looks like it's in within a, a 1,000. I mean, I'll also even check this side of it. Um, I cannot fit this crank in my Holly Truant stand because it's too wide. Um, and by right, I should have this end in the center on the end of the shaft. But I've done this uh, way before and I have excellent results. So... Um, you, you, the the truer the crank is, the better engine performance, less vibration, and longer life on the main bearings you'll have. So it's best to, to get it very true. See, this crank is unbelievably got a good run out. I mean, it's really close for an older crank. Um, okay, I'm happy with that. But again, I, got, I have to check my measurements and a regrind. So I just like to more or less get an idea. I like to know everything about the crank before I go any further. I also check here. I like to check the main wobble on the... Oh, this. I like to check the main wobble on the, on the flywheels itself. You know, just to get an idea of this big weight turning. Is it out of round? You know, if it is... Um, it looks like there's a little wobbleness to it. Um, again, I can work on stuff like that later. There are things you can do to correct it and get it close. Um, but I just wanted to show you an idea of more or less checking for run out on these things. And I'll also check this one over here. Okay, this side is good too. This side's very close. So, I mean, as long as I know this thing ain't radic you know, really radically out, I'm happy. I will work on the wobble a little, and I can show you in future videos how I work that out too. Uh, but right now, this concludes our segment on how to mic 
a BSA A10 Super Rocket Crank, and I'll keep you posted with further videos on how this project is going. Thank you for watching.